Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Father. This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin, known and unknown, from all sin, very sin nature and our acts. The blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Jesus is the Christ. Jesus is the son of God. If I believe that Jesus is the Christ, I am born of God. If I confess, if I believe that Jesus is the Son of God, I have overcome the world. For the victory that overcomes the world is my faith in the truth that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. Now, if I confess with my mouth that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, God dwells in me and I dwell in God. If we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, sins of the sin nature and the sins of our deeds, our acts, our doings, our transgressions, our iniquities. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So God can cleanse us from all sin, the sin nature, and cleanse us from all unrighteousness, our acts. Now, if we say that we have not sinned, we make him God our Father a liar, and his word is not in us. He says in chapter 2, verse 1, My little children, these things write I unto you that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the propitiation or the sin offering for our sins, and not for our sins only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Jesus Christ the Son of God is the Lamb of God that was slain to take away the sin of the world by his blood of sprinkling. We have been made clean. We have been accepted in the beloved. We have been made righteous. By the blood of Passover, we have been redeemed from the hand of the enemy, from trouble, from the land from the east, west, and south. We are the redeemed of the Lord because of the blood of the Lord. We are the redeemed of the Lord because of the blood of the Lord. Now let the redeemed say so. Those that he has redeemed, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy and gathered from the land, from the east, west, north, and south. He said, giving thanks unto the Father who has made us fit or qualified to partake of the inheritance of the saints who are in the light. For he had delivered us from the power of darkness and he had translated us into the kingdom of the son of his love in whom we now have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins and whose sins God forgives, his sicknesses God heals. He forgives all our sins. He heals all our sicknesses. He redeems our lives from the pit of decay, of destruction, of devastation, from the pit of slavery, from the pit of evil. He redeems our lives from the pit and he crowns us with love, mercy, and compassion, his goodness. He satisfies our mouth with good things so that our youth can be renewed like that of the eagles. God has executed and he keeps executing and he will ever execute righteousness and justice for all who are 
oppressed of the wicked one. He made his ways known to Moses. Israel saw his acts every day. Because of what Christ has done today, we are qualified to partake of the inheritance of the saints who are in the light. We are qualified to partake of his power, of his riches, of his wisdom, of his strength, divine health and energy. We are qualified to partake of his honor, of his glory, and of his blessings. We are qualified to partake of his riches, of his wealth, of his superabundance. Jesus came that we might have life and have it in abundance. He came to destroy the works of the devil. Christ came to set free the captives. Christ came to open the eyes of the blind, to open the ears of the deaf, to cause the dumb to speak and to cause the lame to leap like a heart. Jesus Christ came to deliver. He came to set free. He came to restore his people. Jesus Christ came. He has done all things well by his sacrificial death on the cross for us, his burial and resurrection from the dead. We have been set free from everything that has handicapped us. I therefore decree because of what Christ has done, your eternal freedom is settled now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am here as his official ambassador and messenger and God's voice on the earth. And I'm declaring to you by the word of the Lord that it is written, if God be for you, who can be against you? He that did not spare his only son, but gave him up for your sake. And he came and died for you to live. He came and died for you to be healed. He came and died for you to be delivered. He came and died for you to be rescued and restored. He came and died for you to be blessed. He came and died to bring you out of the power of darkness and bring you back into his kingdom where you can live and enjoy heaven on earth. I stand today to declare to you by his word, it's a new day for you. I don't care your sins from the sin nature or your sins by your acts. No matter what you have done, the blood of his son, Jesus Christ, cleanses us from all sin and from all unrighteousness. Therefore, today, I announce your cleansing. I announce your freedom. He is the propitiation, the sin offering, for all our sins and for the sins of the whole world. By his sacrifice, your sins are forgiven. By his sacrifice, you are healed. By his sacrifice, you are redeemed from corruption, from poverty, from lack and want, and you are translated into the home of abundance, into the heavenly life now here on earth. I declare to you, that shall be your story. Yes, you will never struggle again to live. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I announce your liberty. I proclaim your release right now from every trap of the devil. I proclaim your release from every evil hold the wicked may have pushed you into. You are free. You are loose. You are rescued. You are delivered. Yes, you are liberated. You are emancipated and you are restored to your inheritance in God, to your inheritance in Christ, to your inheritance in the Holy Ghost. He said, yes, Christ had redeemed us from the cause of the law because he was made a cause for us. For it is written, cause is everyone that hangs upon a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on us through Jesus Christ, that we might obtain the promise of the Spirit through faith. Yes, there's a promise God has made. You are receiving that right now, not because of your labor, but because of what Christ has done for you. Now I proclaim you free. I proclaim you free. I proclaim you free. I pronounce you clean by his blood. The Passover lamb brought Israel out of Egypt. The bondage of 430 years was ended because of the blood of Passover, of an animal, not of man. The blood of Jesus Christ, the perfect sacrifice for the for the vile sinner is speaking over you today. Forgiveness, cleansing, redemption, restoration, freedom, all the sanctification, consecration is speaking good and not evil. I therefore proclaim you free in Jesus' mighty name. Receive your healing right now if you are sick. Jesus Christ's stripes brought healing to you. It's been paid for. Your healing has been paid for. Your freedom has been paid for. Your liberty has been paid for. Your redemption has been paid for. Your restoration has been paid for. Yes, your prosperity has been paid for. Your wealth and riches have been paid for. Your, your empowerment your strength, your health has been, they have been paid for. Everything that you need to live, 
Christ has paid for all of them. They belong to you right now. Now receive them with thanksgiving by faith and enjoy them from now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's well with you. It's a brand new day. Enjoy his bountiful blessings in Christ and share it with all around you. From today, it's a new day for you. From today, enter into your era of rest in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, I cover your people with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Passover that frees us from sin and keeps us safe from the destroyer. And the blood of sprinkling that enforces our restoration to all that belongs to us and our preservation as the blessed of the Lord. Thank you, Father. The high priest of our profession and confession, Jesus Christ, has applied his blood at the mercy seat and by that we are completely forgiven, pardoned and cleansed, protected, defended, restored, blessed, preserved and settled. To you be glory, Father, in Jesus' most holy name. Amen and amen.